Once again, the blinds are now 500, 1,000. Anties are $200. 1,000 to play. Tony G in the small blind. <laughs> Andy block first to act. He's not going to play the Jack Deuce. And Chris Ferguson's got a couple of nines. He likes it. He's going to make 3, it 3,000. Oof. The ace is for Phil. 3,000. And finally, Phil Ivey's luck is starting to turn. Well, he's decided to be clever. He's called the three. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say his luck's t started to turn yet, and, the, and a nine's probably going to come. Three, six, well, no nine, but it's a good flop for Phil Ivey. Ferguson's got the overpair. And obviously, Ivey has the biggest overpair. Okay. Oh, Chris might regret giving that check. He's not going to know where he is. 5,000. Now, Chris check. Ferguson has been doing this all day where he checks it to Ivy. Ivy bets and takes it away. You wonder if Ferguson is going to check raise here. And if he does, he can be in a lot of trouble. Pot is 13,900. 5,000 to call. Just a check call Five from cool. uh, Chris. Five. Turn is the five of diamonds. That could be a scary card for both players. Ivy's actually got the ace of diamonds in his hand, though. And Ferguson is drawing to Check. two outs here. Nine of diamonds, or the nine of clubs will do it, and that's it. Nine of diamonds would be desperately unlucky for Phil Ivy. who would give a full house for Chris and the nut flush. 15,000. It's a nice strong bet here by Phil Ivy. $15,000. It's going to put the heat on Chris Ferguson. Chris Ferguson started this pot with 119,000. And he is going to call this bet. 15. 10 change. And this pot is quickly turning into a monster. To the river, Queen. Queen of Spades changes nothing. <coughs> Checked. Pot is 48,900. Ferguson checks. 50,000. And Phil Ivey bets $50,000. That's a very big bet from Phil. Chris going to have to give this one some thought. Actually remove the glasses, not something you see very often. Shows he's a bit rattled. This is a very, very big pot. I love the bet by Phil Ivey. It's kind of a big bet. Almost makes it look like he doesn't want to call. And finally, Phil Ivey's luck starting to turn. Cream always rises to the top, huh? <coughs> and Chris Ferguson is going to make the call! He makes the call! And Phil Ivey makes one step closer to getting out of this hole. How to slow play aces. The interesting thing on Phil Ivey is he slow played it pre-flop by just calling the raise, but then betted on all three streets and bet a lot on the turn and the river and got the call from Chris Ferguson.